Want to be sure you're getting the most out of your retirement for all the years of your retirement? That's the primary goal of More Living with Jim Brogan and our Dollars and Cents segment, where we provide you with an important financial tip that will help positively impact the quality of your life in retirement. And now here's Jim with this week's Dollars and Cents tip. This week I want to talk about index funds, ETFs, and index mutual funds for that matter, and manage mutual funds. You know, I don't hear this debate quite as much, and maybe it's because of all the volatility and all the other concerns people have. But, you know, I still get asked on a pretty regular basis, you know, Jim, do you believe in doing index investing or managed investing? You know, one is passive management. You're buying indexes. The other is you're getting active portfolio management with a mutual fund money manager. Or if you're using a stock broker or an investment firm that buys a lot of stocks, it's almost like you're putting you know, you're buying one big mutual fund. The only difference is you're seeing the actual stocks that are being purchased and sold, and you're seeing them on a monthly basis as opposed to – it's almost like you have one big mutual fund. Um, and you know what? You should think about that. If you're with somebody that that's what they do and say you got 30, 40, 30, 40 stocks, uh, really what you've done is you've bought one it's, – it's almost like you've bought one mutual fund. Uh, but you're totally exposed to that money manager's, uh, you know, success. Uh, you know, that, that scares me a little bit. Maybe you balance that with some other things. Um, but I get the question asked a lot. Well, should I do index funds? Because index funds over the long haul, you know, most, most mutual funds do not perform well against index funds and against the stock indexes over time, especially when you consider the risks they take. But some managed mutual funds do very, very well if you pick the best. What do you do? Uh, you know what? Why not consider all of it? You know, I've never understood that. Why would you only do one and not the other? I mean, they both have merits. They both have pros and cons. I mean, index funds have low fees and low costs, uh, but they don't give you any management. So when we have a, a, a crazy volatile market, you're not getting any kind of management of that. You're just going with the index. Uh, but they are low cost, low fee over the long haul. You know, managed mutual funds have higher fees and costs. Most money managers, I'll be honest with you, most mutual funds I don't think are very effective. But if you look at the very, very best, the top 1% or 2%, you know, you can be very, very effective with managed funds. And having that managed approach when we see this type of volatility, people that have great track records. Now, risk you have with managed mutual funds is just because a money manager was great in the past, doesn't mean they're going to be great in the future, so you've got to watch them like a hawk and make sure that they continue to be great. But, you know, why wouldn't you consider all of that stuff? I've never understood that, just to be honest. Well, I only do index funds because that's what we believe in. Well, maybe there's merits to both, or I only do managed funds. So I think one of the keys to being successful with your investments is you need to consider everything the industry has to offer and consider all of the best available choices. And especially when you're buying funds, only get great merchandise, but why not shop at the whole mall? Why would you ever limit yourself? So, you know, quite frankly, I think what that comes down to is everybody's just trying to sell an angle. But you know what? I'm not interested in selling an angle. I'm interested in helping you take care of your finances and being successful in your retirement years and accomplishing all your goals. And it may be you need to use a mixture of all that stuff. And so uh, that would be my recommendation. Don't ever box yourself in a corner saying you have to always do one thing this way or that way. Consider all of those options.